I don't, it's really hard to narrow it down to just one thing, one factor, because it is so many different things that come into play. I think having the opportunity to travel as a young athlete, to experience international competition, uh, to see those high level competitors from a young age, having high level athletes right here at home, seeing what it takes, seeing the day to day work that they have to put in to reach that next level. And then honestly, all the support systems in the place, like I really can't narrow it down to one. The coaching, the actual sports specific training, the working out, the recovery, access to therapists to keep us healthy, keep us at that peak. To reach the pinnacle of sport, especially in gymnastics, it takes a really huge support team. It's a great coach, a great club, an amazing federation, corporate sponsorship. It, it's about a whole, team behind this single moment of success and that's really what it is you get an entire lifetime to build towards that one routine that lasts a minute and a half so there's a lot on the line uh, an athlete has to be prepared emotionally physically mentally and they need to be supported as well socially you can't have the worries of all of those normal person problems you have to be single-mindedly focused on, on your routine to reach that top level of success Canada kind of sits in this weird flux. You know, it takes success to get the funding, yet it takes funding to get success. So we're stuck in the middle. And we have to figure out the right way to go about uh, funding so that we can build up that next generation. And it is about that next generation. It's about inspiring the next generation. I know my performances at the Olympics had gyms filling up around the country, and that's what it took. And I think that if you look at the great results from London, Tons of young girls want to be involved in gymnastics because of the success of the team. I really hope that that you know we can continue where we left off in terms of the group development. Financially, you know we need as much support as we can possibly get. Obviously, it's extremely expensive to be traveling the world and competing. You know, it's a difficult balance to make because you want to gain experience, you want to represent your country but you can only go so far with the amount of money that you have. We really need to figure out the right balance in order to create the successful athlete without as much funding as you'd get if you already have achieved that success. So that takes support from everybody else. That takes support from all different angles. Uh, it's not just reaching the top and getting the money. It's about funding that, that bottom-up approach. I look at high performance sport and grassroots sport as this like really beautiful pyramid. And at the bottom you have the 99% of people that are doing sport at that foundational level, that are growing the sport. But it takes that 1% at the top of the pyramid to inspire, it trickles down. It's that trickle down effect. We saw it in Vancouver 2010 when Canada had such great success. There's going to be Olympic champions who watch those games who were inspired by that, who got involved in sport because of that reason. So I love to think of sport as the pyramid. You got the 1% at the top, but that trickles down to the 99% that do sport at the foundational level. And gymnastics is the fundamental sport. It is the foundation sport. It's about strength, it's about flexibility, coordination, agility. It's about mind-body connection. It's too long to list, um, but gymnastics really is the base of all great things when it comes to physical activity and inspiration and motivation.